Hi there, you're watching the Gardens and Graveyards channel. My name is Charisma and today we're hanging out in the studio. We're going to do a quick plant craft. So I picked up these terrariums. One looks like a light bulb and one is pretty traditional looking. These are actually plastic. Traditionally, they're glass. But I found these at the Dollar Tree and I could not resist myself. So I had some leftover stuff from projects recently. So out of um, just three air plants, do not ask me the names. I, I don't know my air plants very well. And I have, I have discovered that, you know, doing anything ultra uh, decorative with them is kind of a pain because the best way that I've been able to keep these alive is not by spraying them with water personally to keep the humidity up. It's by soaking them in water for about 30 minutes and then setting them up like this to dry some way so that the, the crown of the plant is not getting um, saturated with moisture. So the best display that I could think of is to have them just basically sitting on something so I could pull them out without entangled wires or strings or plants or anything like that. So I wanted to put these somewhere because they've just been sort of hang, hanging out on a countertop like this and I water them every week. But I'd like them to, you know, have a purpose and have a place to be. The other thing is, is I have just a few succulents that have cured and dried. These are leaves off of a succulent that we uh, divided. This, these are a couple of babies off of succulents that we've divided. I'm going to use the succulents in this little container. Yes. Um, so in this container, the first thing I want to do is take off these tags because they're driving me crazy. All right. So this one is going to be sort of an under the sea look. I've got these blue glass rocks in here. Now the, oh my goodness, they're so lightweight, they'll just roll away. Um, the air plants don't need any soil. They're air plants. They don't want to be in soil. So I'm just going to put these glass decorative rock on the bottom here. It is meant to be like sea glass. Of course, these are just tumbled pieces from a retail store not true sea glass all right and because I want to make sure I do want some dimension so I'm gonna take this little twig stick it in here there's a hole on the side of this so I thought it would be kind of fun to have some asymmetrical dimension here and then this one likes to curl around things. So I'm going to stick her in here and let and let her kind of curl around. There we go. And then this one I'm just going to stick in here. Maybe like this. kind of like too tall so I'll put that one in there and I'll put this one kind of in the forefront and that's it that's what I'm doing with this one um, and then what I'm what I'm hoping is that I could I can actually maybe just do a little spritz and like every other week pull them out we'll see how it goes I'm going to hang this one right underneath some ferns that I spray and try to keep humid anyways. But that's it. Really simple, really easy, no brainer. Now with the succulents, because they're all, um, they need to be propagated, I'm going to put a cactus and succulent mix on the bottom. So I've just got this black gold succulent and cactus potting mix. I'm going to put it in this open hole 
I don't want it to spill out. It's pretty shallow right here. The bottom of this hole is pretty shallow. All right, so that is all I'm doing with that. And then I'm gonna just stick this succulent. This one has a little bit of a root, so I do wanna put it underneath the soil. Put it right here in the middle. I'll put this one to the side. Also has a little bit of a root, so we'll put it in the soil. And this one has a little bit of a root. We'll also put it in soil. Other side. And then with these leaves, all I'm going to do is lay them right on top of the soil, not putting them in the soil at all. I'm just laying them right on top. They have contact with the soil. It's sort of a radial fashion around the succulents that I have in there now. Uh, one way that terrariums can, one tool that is useful for a terrarium is tweezers, like long handled tweezers, something like this, where you can gently hold the plant. It's actually, oops. Okay. Make sure you have it kind of positioned how it's going to go in there easiest. Oops. Gently hold it. Slip it in there where you want it. And now, because this is all very dry in there, I'm going to just use my handy dandy water bottle with the seedling cap on it. Just pop that right in there and give it a little bit of a watering. Not too much. Um, one, because the succulents don't want that much water. Two, because there is no drainage. So you have to be very careful in a situation like that. All right, let's just go ahead and hang these up. Oh, this one's just gonna go in this window right here. It has plenty of bright sunlight and right uh, on the other side of the window with these ferns in the bird cage, I'm gonna go ahead and hang this right here and that's gonna have plenty of bright light so I think that's kind of a fun way to utilize these so those are the air plants they look really cute very under the sea like um, of course they'll probably get changed around a bit every time I take them out and uh, water them. And then that's what these ones look like in here. Pretty, pretty simple and easy. And that's gonna do it for today. Really easy, super simple ways that you can display a plant and really make kind of an impact and have a lot of character. So I hope that you were inspired to do some kind of fun plant craft yourself. Until the next time, keep celebrating your life. Bye.